What's up, YouTube? Um, this system's from 6 2014 410A. Uh, required sub cooling is 11. 15 sear, 3 ton. Uh, another company put this in last year. She was having issues when it was put in. And she went to call them this year because she saw that the line set and the system was frozen. And they no longer do residential. So I'm here to fix the issue. Came out here the other day and I was getting some wacky readings here. Sorry about the glare, guys. But anyway, my superheat is showing that it is undercharged, yet my subcooling is showing high. Um, so, I'm only at like 19 degrees saturation. Obviously, this has got to be, a, low side's got to be above, uh, 100 degrees for it not to freeze so I will be changing out the TXV today and we'll see what happens I'll take you along for the ride and she is beer canning you would think I think everything's fine but it's not Not bad. Right, time to go upstairs in the attic and take out this TXV. All right, these guys didn't put a case in. I'm not sure why. We already took off here and here. For that. Now we're gonna sweat this out up top. Got the exact same TXV going back in, so everything should match up nicely. It's got to be very careful about lighting some of this insulation up. Well, I ran out of I ran out of uh, settling here. Bob went to go get another tank out of the truck. I guess somebody left it open, but anyway, I don't know why these guys didn't put a case coil. I mean, we got we do have a 12 inch there, and Looks like another 12 over there coming off. I mean, how hard is it to put a box and lift it and pan? I mean, you got plenty of play here. And this is the return. Got to fix that. And then there's more supplies back there. This is walking shot, back yeah. into the house, and this is what's sitting by the front porch. Almost ran into me. Tiny, tiny baby. All right, pulling the vacuum. Got the TXV in upstairs in the attic. Still got to clean up and close the that sheet metal to the coil. On a plenum, but uh, I had 300 pounds of uh, nit nitrogen in there. She held, she held for about 15 minutes. So that's good enough for me. And then vacuum gauge, get down there and uh, do a little tightness test, and I verify if there's any leaks or not. So far, so good. Tell you what, I really want to jump in this pool here. It's beautiful. Back here up in the mountain in the woods. It's funny, I was looking at my 
family's Facebook last night on Facebook. My uncle just got one of these things, and I happened to see one. It's a smoker type of grill. And I've heard uh, great things about it, so if you guys like doing some smoking, check it out. Not really, it's called the, the Big Green Egg. They say it works fantastic. Okay, got it all uh, pumped down. Everything uh, pumped down very nicely. Now I'm just checking the charge. It's been running for about 15 minutes. Looking for a target of 11 sub cooling. Man, this friggin' glare is killing me. Pressures and temperatures are looking a heck of a lot better than before. So, I don't think I need to adjust too much. It's right around what you should be, 300. Pull into the chart, it's about 85 degrees right now. Looking for 11 at 300. In the ballpark. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.